Hello everyone. So in this video, let us uh, learn something uh, really cool about uh, Kid and Life. Now I have been using Kid and Life for uh, quite some time now, and uh, although I've used Kid and Life uh, for doing simple edits in the past, but uh, I never really used it for doing uh, things like creating intros or animations or outros. So basically, now I'm 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 trying to do a bit more uh, with Kid and Life, and today actually I created one uh, intro for my channel, which I actually created earlier long back using a uh, hit film express. But I thought, okay, let me just create the same thing, or a similar version of the same intro using uh, get in life. So let me let me uh, show you very quickly. And uh, then of course, uh, hopefully it will it, it will give you an idea about uh, I'll try to show you how to create uh, not each and everything, but some elements of it. So let me show you the intro first. And I'll try to reduce the volume a bit because uh, it is a bit too loud. Okay, let us play this. Let me do it one more time. Okay, so this was the um, this this was the intro, and as you can see, there are a few things happening. And in this video, of course, let me just to show you something very simple and uh, very quick. So let, I'll just create a new uh, new file, and when you create a new file, of course, you have to select some uh, configurations like what what resolution you want, what frame rate you want. So you can basically select the template. I use twenty five fps. So this is the get a live interface. The very first thing that I may want to do, I may want to basically create, uh, I, I basically want some music. So let me just add some music. So I'll just add uh, something from uh, my my repository of uh, the songs or the YouTube songs that I have, basically. So let me just select the one which uh, I basically used in uh, my intro. And I know the name, come on. What is the name of that? Okay, yeah, this is the one. So I'll just double select it. I'll drag it to the timeline. Oh, come on, audio. So I'll drag it to the audio and I don't really want the whole length. So to do some simple cuts, you can press X. So simply select the clip, press X, and then you can basically clip something like this. And then, and if, if you press S again, S for, uh, uh, simple, you can simply then uh, delete the remaining clip. And uh, if you press control and uh, mouse wheel, you can then expand or basically make this uh, uh, clip appear uh, on the timeline, of course, but uh, it will give you more space, it will expand it. Now, so you have basically more space and you can view what you're trying to do. So basically, this is the clip. And you can also do something like uh, if you if you right click on it, you can select edit duration, I normally prefer uh, uh, five seconds. So let me just change it to five, zero five, zero zero. And okay, so this is my clip now, which is now definitely somewhere. Okay, so this is my clip. And as you can see, it is exactly, I believe, uh, five seconds. Now, what I want to do, in this uh, in this particular clip, I may want to lower the volume so I can search for uh, uh, the volume here on top. And then I can drag it to the clip. And then I can uh, click on it. On the right hand side, I have the gain so I can probably reduce it. And maybe select something like minus. Okay, minus 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 20 minus 19. Yeah, minus 20 is fine. Okay, so this is fine. So what I want to do is I want to basically ha add some text that will appear something like learn and share which I have in my intro. So I want I'll, I'll basically add a new title clip. And when you add a new, new title clip or before I add a new title clip, I may want to add some background. So maybe I can add something like a color clip. And I can select here from the list. Uh, I can select custom and I can then select here my color, which is let us say zero F E F. So any so it's it's a blue color which I use for all of my uh, company's uh, 
I mean, it, it's like one of my primary color. So this is the background and uh, nothing nothing is there right now. So the next thing that I may want to do is I, want, I, I just, just want to add three different uh, text separately, learn and share, that is it. But I want it to appear one by one. So I'll first add uh, this and I'll type in here learn and I can then select here the font size, maybe 108. And then if I want this to appear uh, somewhere uh, somewhere on the right hand side, I can simply um, basically drag it. But good thing about this, these options here is that you can actually align it horizontally and uh, vertically. And now it is in center. Great. This is fine. I'm happy with it. And uh, simply create this. Now you can drag it on the timeline. And then you can uh, maybe reduce the duration manually or you can just uh, look at uh, the duration. Maybe I want it to appear for one second, which is fine. Okay, so this is one second now. So I, I, I like to have things super accurate. Let us add one more, add title clip, and I'll keep the same font, um, but I will change it to uh, learn. And so I'll just add learn and and. And don't worry about the learn, which is in the background. It is basically coming from the uh, timeline. So I can simply make sure that it is also in the center and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll align it like vertically and horizontally and I'll add it and then I will drag it and I'll change the duration to no, not disable. Come on, enable the clip and then I want to say, okay, this is going to be one second and that is it. So we have, let us take a look at it. So first learn came, then learn and came, and now I will add a learn and share. So I'll add one more clip. So I'll name it as uh, learn. I'll, I'll type the text as learn and share. And don't worry about the alignment because we can simply do this and this. Now we are aligned and I can drag it. And I'll just change the duration to one second very easily. This looks all right to me. Okay, perfect. So we are good. Okay, so this is learn and and by the way, I'm not really may, trying to sync the learn and share with the spikes on my audio, but you can do that. There is something called as if you want, you can actually add uh, uh, some markers here so that you know, okay, I need to do something at this particular position. So we have this, we have a few things now. And the last thing that I may want to do, I may want to add uh, a line here, like learn and share. And uh, when I add a line, maybe I also want that line uh, to maybe expand. Why not? Because it looks cool. So let us do that. And uh, and for doing that, I'll probably add one more clip. You'll l let us do that. And uh, to add a new line, you can simply select this box and do something like this. I think this looks good and uh, maybe I want this line to maybe, I think it's a two, it's, it's really, uh, okay, l l let us add this line and uh, what you can do also do, you, you can also change the width of the line. Let us have 500 and you can also change the height to maybe, maybe 20. So it's not very thick and you can also change the position. For example, if I, I, I whenever I work with Kaden Life, I try to remember the positions. For example, I know 100 and uh, 800 is basically, oh, X is positive. So if X is positive and if you type in 100 here, it is like top bottom corner and 800. But you can also do like X minus or minus X so that the same line will appear uh, vertically at 800 position, but horizontally it will be on the other side. So you can do minus X. And then if you type in here 100, it will be on the other side. So you can actually align things if you want nicely. So for this, I'll simply select 100, uh, which is of course something a bit too uh, on the bottom side. So I'll probably center align this and maybe I will, uh, let me just check. Okay, this is probably a bit too in the, it's like on top of the text, but uh, I will expand or maybe I'll just use the, use the number to control the vertical position of this. Okay, so let me just change it 
and make it appear somewhere here i guess this is fine and create so i'll i'll first drag it here the clip and i'll change the uh, i can also change the duration like this so now the line will appear here but this is probably not making sense what i may want to do is i may want to make this line appear under the text and i also want to maybe change the width of this line so or maybe you know just move it somewhere I, why not so let us do one thing let us add one more track and by the way you can have multiple tracks so insert track add a video track because it, we don't really want any audio here so i'll just uh, uh, add add the line here so we can we can see here that the learn and share is uh, basically appearing this line is appearing and let us do something with this line so if you select this line i think let, let us keep it like this and uh, i want this line to basically maybe do something maybe change the width or uh, some some and some 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 transformation so there is one effect called transform i'll uh, select the effect from top and uh, i will drag it on top of it perfect so on the right hand side you can see that we have some options here and uh, what i will do is i just want to add some keyframes so you can do that you can actually say okay so right now we are at uh, this position and uh, maybe somewhere in the center or maybe somewhere at the end you want this line to maybe do something so you can actually add uh, a keyframe like this by clicking on this and you can have multiple keyframes and whatever you whatever you do at this keyframe it will do it will happen incrementally or gradually so maybe at this particular point you may want to uh let us say you want to change the width of this shall we try or maybe you want to change the uh height or maybe just just let us just maybe uh maybe we can just uh, make it transparent so i'll just I'll, ju I'll just change the opacity and if you now look at this it will basically fade very slowly very slowly right so this looks good but you can also change the uh, at this keyframe you can also change the uh, position of this so maybe you want to say that okay i'll shift the x-axis to 50 and uh, wh wh what will happen it will then uh, move and also fade away so it looks slightly cool right and it will happen really nicely so let us look at the entire uh, thing from the beginning right so it looks very simple but hopefully i've given you some ideas in this video on how to add these wonderful things it is not very difficult it is all about uh, you just need to spend some time i think to be honest if you spend a couple of times a couple of hours not times couple of hours you can do something like this but something like something like this very quickly but once you know how to do these things you can actually save this uh, now, now the good thing about this uh, whole project is you can of course export it if you want to you can do render and then you can go to you can select the you know format and then render render it to a file but even if you don't render it to a file you can also re-import the same project somewhere else so you can basically have the same clip or the entire project imported as a project um, and and of course you can you can do that up to you how you want to do it you can also you just export it to mp3 not not mp3 mp4 and then reuse it use it um, over and over again so yeah this is it a very simple and uh, easy way to add intros and outros and you can do a lot of wonderful things with this um, of course the approach is a bit different I i've used imovie i have used photoshop uh, not photoshop uh, hitfilm express and also that thing i forgot the name uh, that uh, premium pro uh, and uh, uh, now of course i'm using Kaden Live and only Kaden Live. Fortunately, Kaden Live, even for doing HD video edits, it works fine on this T14. I mean, in fact, quite good. For 4K with proxy, it works perfectly fine. Uh, because uh, I purchased one of the reason for purchasing this T14 ThinkPad T14 was basically to uh, do some edits, and now I'm doing it. All right, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. and you learn something new thank you very much